Hello and welcome to your own channel. Let's talk business once again. As always, I'm excited to have you here. In this episode, we are going to discuss about one of the oldest but important system used by Lloyd Syndicate to manage their reinsurance portfolio. This system is called as LORS. L O R S. Well, LORS stands for Lloyd's Outward Reinsurance System. Sometimes it is also referred as Lloyd Outward Reinsurance Scheme. Well, LORS is used to process the reinsurance transaction between the Lloyd Syndicate, broker, and reinsurer. The information about the LORS system is very rare and you can't find much about it in open internet. So I can say that this is a very special and very interesting information. So as always, there is lot to know and lot to discuss. So without waiting more, let's start talking business guys. For those who are new to my channel, I am Ravi Shankar. I am having more than 16 years of experience in business analysis, largely associated with PNC and general insurance domain. If you have any query related to this video presentation or my previous video presentations, you can drop me email at my hotmail ID or you can drop me message at my LinkedIn profile. I am also available on Twitter so you can connect me on Twitter. Once again, thanks a lot for all your emails and all your suggestions. I really love them all. Let's move ahead. So since we are going to talk about the reinsurance system, I would like you to see first this short video presentation from CII on RI introduction. But before that, let me tell you some interesting fact about the CII logo. So here if you can see this, this crown, a Saxon crown representing the connection of the site of Elderman Bury, where the CII is located with its past history and the crest take the shape of hand grasping a sword by its blade instead of handle symbolizing the risk mitigation effect of insurance. Very interesting. So now have a look to this short video presentation from CII about the RI introduction. When an insurer is offered a very large or very hazardous risk, they may feel that it puts their own pool of money in jeopardy. When this happens, they can transfer the risk in exactly the same way individuals and companies do. They do this through reinsurance. Essentially, reinsurance is insurance for insurers. Broadly speaking, there are two types of reinsurance. Facultative, where reinsurance is arranged for a single known risk. And treaty, where reinsurance is arranged for a collection of risks that fall within given criteria. Let's take a look at a simple example of a reinsurance agreement. A policyholder takes out cover with an insurer. The insurer is responsible for covering 100% of any claim costs and the policyholder pays 100% of any premium owed directly to the insurer. However, the insurer can't or doesn't want to accept all of the risk, so they pass 40% of it to a reinsurer. This means they pay the reinsurer 40% of the policyholder's premium. If a claim is made, the insurer will pay 100% of the claim directly to the policyholder, but will be able to recover 40% of the claim costs from the reinsurer. There's no need for the policyholder to know about the reinsurance arrangement, as there's no contractual relationship between the policyholder and the reinsurer. That's simple reinsurance. Well, before getting into the law system, I really want you to show that even though laws is an old legacy system, it is an extremely important system when it comes to reinsurance business in Lloyds of London, simply because it manages a transaction worth billions of pounds, an extremely important system. Let me give you some idea about the Lloyds of London reinsurance portfolio. So last month, April, an analysis from the ICMR or Insurance Capital Market Research showed that roughly half of the gross profit generated in the Lloyds market over the last two decades has been shared with the reinsurance. So if you can have a look over here from 2000 to 2019, Lloyds wrote approximately 448 billion of gross premium since 2000. Gross claim to the policyholder was about 288 billion pound. Net combined ratio was around 98, which is quite good and Lloyd generated 20 billion for his investor. So if you can see over here, the Lloyds paid its reinsurers 
107 billion pound and collected back approximately 87 billion pound in terms of recovery meaning that the market has shared approximately half of its gross profit with its reinsurers so if you can see over here the net earned premium is around 332 billion pound over 107 billion was ceded to the reinsurer partner and the recovery sessions from the reinsurance partner was close to 87 billion pound so you can see that the transactions what loss is managing is huge so that's the reason the loss is very very important system within the Lloyds. Going ahead, let me give you some history about the Lloyds system. The Lloyds Outward Reinsurance System is a system Lloyds Syndicate and Broker use to process the Outward Reinsurance Premium and Claim Transaction, uh, which we just talked about it. The LPSO developed the Lloyds in 1980s to allow Lloyds Syndicate to record their Outward Reinsurance Premium and Claim Transaction and then match those Outward Transaction to the Inward Transaction processed by the Bureau. LARS is hosted by the DXC via the XIS on LID system which stand for Lloyd Insurance Data System via the online portal. Now what is LPSO? What is LIDS? Let me give you a brief idea about it. So the LPSO stand for Lloyd's Policy Signing Office. The Lloyd's Policy Signing Office was the bureau organization that validated signed and processed policy and premium on behalf of Lloyd's insurance and reinsurance syndicate. It provides the key service including risk data capture, policy checking and premium processing and settlement along with the reporting for Lloyd's managing agent. LPSO was part of Corporation of Lloyd but now it is a part of Exchanging Insure Services or XIS since 2001 which is managed by the DXC technology. When it comes to LIT system, LIT stands for Lloyd Insurance Data System and there are two main systems here. One is LIT and one is uh, POSH, P-O-S-H. POSH stands for Policy Signing History for the company market. So LIT is basically for the Lloyd syndicates and P-O-S-H is basically for the company market and they both are in-house bureau system to capture the data related to risk and premium right so i have already captured the lpso and leads in my previous video presentation so you can better go back and check it out going ahead so broker and underwriters can submit outward reinsurance transaction in two ways straight away by using the Lord's online portal provided by XIS which is working on top of uh, leads right and by using their own system and then submitting it to Lord's through a EDI message okay electronic data interface message right so we will discuss about the message in greater detail further down in this presentation now let me give you a very high level overview about the business process involved here when it comes to the the placement of outward ri so the actors involved here syndicates broker and the reinsurer now the syndicate use laws to instruct the specialized reinsurance broker or broker to find and place the reinsurance on their current risk exposure so they request to place the ri to the broker over here then the broker prepares the RI placement document. Now the broker try to find the appropriate reinsurance by approaching the syndicates or companies that are either specialized in reinsurance or specialized both direct insurance and reinsurance to obtain 100% placement. Now this process is same as when the broker tried to obtain 100% direct insurance through syndication process. The syndication process is you have a risk. So syndicate one is holding like 10%, 10%, 50% and then 30% syndicate uh, 3 and syndicate 4. So this entire process is called as syndication. Now once the broker managed to obtain the full 100% subscription in the form of quote for the reinsurance contract, they will provide the information to the syndicate. Now here the syndicate will review the proposal and its terms and conditions etc. They could reject one or two reinsurance proposal and then if they are rejecting some proposal in that case the broker must place the reinsurance with more favorable choices so say for example as i said if reinsurers said that no there is further more refinement is required then the broker will go and prepare the document again 
produced same reinsurer or new reinsurer and then the syndicate will review again with the broker to see if the terms and conditions are favorable or not. If the syndicate approves the proposal, then they will instruct the broker to create the premium debit entry in lot system. The broker will then create the premium debit entry in lot system either directly via the XIS online portal or through EDI message I explained earlier. And once the broker created the debit entry in the lot system, it will go to the syndicate for further approval and once the syndicate approves this proposal, then the process will get closed. So what will happen after that? What is the settlement process? So once the agreement is done, the lots item is completed and the item sent to XIS lids to generate the USM, which will be sent to the syndicate in the following morning and subsequently trigger the central settlement. Now, what is central settlement? What is reinsurance? I have already covered, but I will give you a brief background about it. Now, after three working days, the STFO, Lloyd Central Settlement, debit the premium from the syndicate and credit it to the broker account. And finally, the broker will pay the premium to the reinsurer, right? So the syndicate, the broker, and the RI partner so syndicate will pay to broker and the broker will pay to RI and this entire transaction will be facilitated by the STFO well what is USM what is STFO let me give you a quick background about it the USM stands for the underwriting signing message the Lloyd's underwriting signing message is generated when the broker submit the MRC which stands for market reform contract to XIS service for the processing of signing data capture on the Lloyd's insurance data system or list system which I just explained. Once the risk information is captured, the list system will send the messages which carries the risk, premium and all supporting policy information in the form of USM message to all the syndicate involved. So as I said earlier, I have already covered the messaging in detail so you can check my previous video presentations. So now let's talk about the STFO over here. What is this STFO? So STFO stands for Lloyd Settlement Trust Fund Office. The Lloyd Settlement Trust Fund Office is a department within the Corporation of Lloyds that manages the Lloyds Central Settlement for premium and claim payment for the Lloyds Syndicate. It's managed by the DXC technology through XIS and XCS services. The XIS submit the electronic messages daily to STFO for premium and claim payment payment or you can say that settlement going ahead let's quickly talk about the claim recovery process so when the syndicate is presented with a claim for the inward and direct insurance by the broker the claim will be processed through ecf which stands for electronic claim file system the ecf stands for electronic claim file system and this is the combination of imr insured market repository where broker upload all the information related to the claim and the claim loss advice and settlement system or class system this is the main system where all the claim information is recorded this is the very high level process where the syndicate is involved broker is involved reinsurance is involved the syndicate asks the broker to create the reinsurance claim credit in lot system to process the reinsurance claim so basically the syndicate is requesting the ri claim credit for the claim what it received the broker will prepare the ri claim credit and then it will take the RI claim information to the reinsurer for their review and payment of the claim. So once the broker obtained the agreement for the claim from the reinsurer, then the reinsurer will pay the recovery sessions to the broker. Now the broker received the claim payment from the reinsurer and create the lawyer's credit over here. And then once everything is okay, the syndicate verified this lawyer's credit, then the settlement process will continue for the session recovery else it will throw back the entire process again to the broker in order to rectify the the problems within the claim credit the lloyd central settlement debit the broker on the settlement day to credit the syndicates now what will happen over here if you can see the syndicate broker and ri so syndicate paid the session to broker and broker paid the session to ri partners when it comes to the recovery session RI pays the recovery to the broker and the broker pays the recovery back to the syndicate and this entire transaction will be facilitated by the STFO right so if you can see over here the broker plays a very important and central role when it's come to the settlement of the reinsurance now in next slide we will 
talk about the messages involved in the LoRa system. Oh, before that, as I said, the RIUSM will be generated by the LIDs for the syndicate record purpose and STFO after three working days. Debit the RI recovery amount from the broker account and credit to the syndicate account. Now let's talk about the messages involved in LORS. So there are six important messages involved here. LIMRIA, LLD, UWR, LIMRES, RIUSM, LIMRIS, LIMRIN. LIMRIA is basically to let syndicate know that there is a RI atom waiting for their action. LLD UWR is basically a response message generated by the syndicate system to update the LOD system. LIMRES is basically a confirmation message generated by LOD system to acknowledge syndicates whether they have received it, the information from syndicate. RIUSM is the normal USM generated by LIDS to inform syndicate as usual. LIMRIS is the end of day status message generated by LORDS for the involved reinsurer or LIMRIN is the message of notification when something is being amended or replaced in outward reinsurance item by the broker, right? So we will see all these messages in action within the process flow. Now here again, the message process is very straightforward and it's a high level message process where the syndicate underwriting system, LOID system and reinsurance systems are involved. So once the debit and credit original item is created by the broker in the LOID system, LOIDs generate the LIMRIA messages. And as I said earlier, this LIMRIA message to let the syndicate know that there is a RI item waiting for their action. Now what will happen? The syndicate will review the debit credit or, or original item. And then what will happen? they will trigger the LLD UWR message from their system. And this message is basically a response message generated by the syndicate system to update the lots that they have received LIMRIA messages. Now after that, what will happen once the law system receives the LLD UWR, they will generate the LIMRIS message and this is basically a confirmation message generated by the laws to acknowledge the syndicate whether they have accepted or received the LLD UWR message. Going forward, so LIMRIN messages is the notification of new amended and replaced outward RI item to Lloyds by the broker. And finally, when it comes to LIMRIS, it's an end of day status message generated by laws for all the involved reinsurers. Well, that's all from today's video presentation. I hope you have gained some knowledge from today's session. Thanks for all your valuable time. Goodbye and take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye and I will see you soon with a new topic. Bye-bye.